Good afternoon, everyone. This is Robert Preston Jr. with DouglasNow.com, and here are your top stories for Monday, October 16, 2023. Officers from several agencies are investigating a one vehicle accident that took place in Nichols near Extreme Cargo on Highway 32 Saturday morning. The vehicle involved was a Polaris Ranger. The Ranger flipped over, ejecting one passenger. A second passenger did not survive the accident. As a result of the crash, Patrick Early Davis, 35, of Millwood, was hit with several charges, including vehicular homicide and DUI. He was transported to the Coffee County Jail, where he remained. The Coffee Trojans remain undefeated after beating the Statesboro Blue Devils 51 to nothing in Statesboro Friday night. Fred Brown rushed for 166 yards and three touchdowns. Anthony Paul ran for 72 yards and a touchdown on offense. He also intercepted a pass and ran a kickback for a touchdown. Leading the way on defense yet again was junior linebacker Jairius Carter, who tallied 13 tackles. Brown's 166 yards has him just 160 yards away from setting the single season rushing record at Coffee High School with three games remaining. Early voting began this morning for the Douglas and Broxton municipal elections. Election day is November 7th. However, registered voters can cast their ballots early from now until election day. Early voting hours are eight to five Monday through Friday until November 3rd at Central Square Complex. See douglasnow.com for a list of candidates who are on the ballot. Douglas native and country music superstar Jennifer Nettles was inducted into the National 4-H Hall of Fame last week. 4-H helped pave the way for Nettles' career. She became involved in 4-H when she was 10 years old and remained active in 4-H through her adolescent years. Nettles began performing with 4-H's Clovers and Company Performing Arts Group, which is where she developed a passion for singing and performing. Nettles has received several awards and accolades from 4-H over the years, culminating with this honor a week ago. These are the top stories for Monday, October 16, 2023. Be sure to check douglasnow.com for more information on these and the other stories we are following. Also, please follow us on Instagram, X, formerly known as Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. This is Robert Preston Jr. reporting for douglasnow.com. Have a great Monday.